All right, next thing we're going to talk about is this right here, which is using mathematical models. And mathematical modeling is basically using uh, real-world situations uh, in mathematics. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to use variables and stuff like that to model the real world. So here's a nice little example. It says t is equal to 17x squared plus 261x plus 3,257. And what this is, uh, this is basically the average cost of tuition, T, for fees of public four-year uh, colleges adjusted for inflation. So the formula T represents the tuition cost for U.S. public schools uh, X years after 2000. And what we're going to try to do is we'll actually uh, work with you guys and we'll try to figure out what is the uh, public education going to cost in the year 2015. So right now, as you can see, T is going to be the cost. You know, this is uh, X years after 2000. So X years after 2000. So it's going to be a little tricky for us, but hopefully not too bad. What we're going to try to do is basically work with you guys and see what it's going to be for our seniors. So for the seniors, we're going to use X, and we want X to be the years uh, well, I'll just put um, what will be. We're trying to figure out what is 2015. So what we'll use for X is we'll use 15 for this one. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to basically take that value and we're going to plug it in. So wherever we have an X, we're going to plug in 15. Whatever's being done to our variable uh, will actually uh, do the exact same thing. Now if you notice in this equation, say in the year 2000, in the year 2000 you would actually plug in 0. So if you plug in 0, this would be 0, this would be 0, so you're going to actually get $3,257. So that's what it was back in 2000. Now we're going to try to use this to see if we can't help it predict in the future. And this is something that we would really want to know in, in terms of a math, is because we want to know what those costs are going to be. Whether you're you know, a professor at a college, and you need to realize that, whether you're a parent, you know, who has little kids and you need to figure out how much money do I need to have 18 years from now so that uh, my students can go to college and I can actually pay for it. Or, you know, if you're somebody who's running the college and you're trying to figure out, well, with, with professors' incomes increasing, uh, you know, how much is tuition going to have to increase so that we can make ends meet? So we'll look at this. Uh, I have a trusty little calculator here, so we're going to use that. Uh, it's basically kind of like an expression, because I'm really not solving for x. Um, it's already solved for t, so I don't have to really manipulate my equation. So I'll say 15 squared, and then get that answer, multiply that by 17, and then I'll say plus 15 times, oops, I didn't hit plus, did I? Oh, that didn't work at all. Plus uh, 15 times 261, and then plus that 3,257. Now, obviously, do we know what the answer is? Do they know how much college education is going to be next year? No, they don't. The governor could easily go and pass, you know, a 2% raise in all college education. Um, but we'll look at the answer. So we got $10,997. Actually, that probably should be an equal to because it is an exact answer. We actually figured it out. We didn't have to round it at all. So that's what the tuition cost is. Now, like we said, we really don't know what the tuition is going to be next year. Um, you know, a lot of things could happen. But what they have done, and what a lot of math does, is they look at look at uh, characteristics. So they've gone back and they've looked at what's happened in the year 2000, 2001, 2002, and then they come up with a model that models what it's going to be, what the increase looks like. Is it linear? Does it go the same about each time? Is it exponential? In this case, it's quadratic. 
We know it's quadratic because we have an x squared here. So we get $10,997. Well, that right there, maybe that's accurate. You know, this is for all U.S. public schools. So you're going to have to take into account University of Tennessee, which is probably a lot more than that, ETSU, which may be somewhere around there, and then also schools like Northeast State, which you guys can actually go to for free now. So, um, yeah, good little mathematical modeling describing the real world using math.